Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this Reaper tutorial we're going to look at working with stretch markers, what they are, what they do and how we can use them to tidy up our audio and ensure that everything is time aligned and exactly as we want it to be. So let's see how they work. So stretch markers are a great way of allowing us to fine tune the audio. So let's take a look in this example track that I've got on screen in front of me. If I just play a little section of this you can see what we're working with. Okay, all sounds okay. But what we're finding is if we take a look at some of these beats and the guitar parts, we're finding that they're not exactly where we want them to be. This section, if we take a look underneath the mouse, where our playhead is, is just a little bit early. If we take a look below, there's the actual beat it should be on, and you can see we're just ever so slightly early. So what we can do is we can fine tune this. So what we're going to do to start off with is place an initial set of markers down to ensure that anything that sits before the area we're going to edit and anything that sits after the area we're going to edit is not going to be affected by any of these adjustments we're going to make. So all I'm going to do is simply right click, go to stretch markers and add stretch marker at current position. So I'll hit that and you can see that places a marker. I'm going to scroll over, well, I'm going to take it right to the end because it's for this example I don't really need to, but we'll take it over a little way and I'll position another marker down just to make sure that everything afterwards is not going to be touched. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut of Shift and W. Ensure I'm on the right track and position exactly where I want it. Shift and W. So there's my second marker. So now everything that we adjust in between will be affected when we place other markers down but anything that sits to the left and right hand side is not going to be stretched or adjusted or, or knocked out of line or anything. So it's a good practice to get into the habit of doing. So with our initial markers down, let's take a look at how we can start editing this. I'm just going to zoom in so I can see exactly what I'm working with. And I'm just going to position exactly where I need to place my first marker. So just at the beginning of where this, this attack is. But there. I have my marker in, Shift W. And now I can adjust that. Now, if you know you want to snap to the grid lines, you can leave the snap to option off at the top. But it does sometimes make it easier just to turn that off and adjust manually. So you can see that allows us to adjust things. But what that's also done is it's stretched everything over or adjusted everything else to the right hand side of what we're working with. So that's not ideal. So let me just undo that. And what we'll do is we'll just go and place our initial markers in right the way along. So that every place is a marker, it's only going to adjust in between those two markers and nothing else. So let's just quickly run through Shift W. I don't have to be particularly precise on this. I'm just positioning them roughly where I want them to be at the beginning of each of these attacks. Now obviously with everything like this, it's not just a case of adjusting visually, you need to do it audibly as well. So sometimes you're going to find that even though visually it looks like you're getting perfect timing on the audio you're working with, it does make a lot more sense to each time you make an adjustment, just have a little listen, make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. If it's not, readjust it to get so you're happy. So I'm almost done. my track's active, otherwise nothing's going to happen. That'll do for now. Let me just place one more mark over there. Okay, so I've placed my markers where I want them to be. Now I can start fine-tuning without having any problem thinking I'm going to affect anything else. So let's just grab these markers and position them where I want. Now, what you can see when you start working with these markers, I'm in the wrong place, bear with me a second, is the marker themselves change. And there's a little bit of information that's sort of displayed for us. You can see that the markers now have a grey to the left hand side, right is red, and the opposite over on this one. And what that does is that tells you where you've adjusted it. So you'll see as we move it will tell us at the top 
the percentage we're working with, how much we've sort of adjusted it. And we're talking quite minuscule amounts here. So you always got a visual representation of exactly what you're doing, how you stretched it, how you've adjusted it. So let's do the same for this one. Let's just stretch this back. And the one thing I will say about Reaper is it is very, very good with this time stretching. It doesn't really affect the audio unless you're going sort of crazy amounts. It keeps it very, very faithful. So again, let's just adjust this. Bringing it in line with the drum beats. Just tweak in to make sure everything is exactly as you want it to be. Exactly on the beat. Okay. So let's just solo this, solo the drums. And we should find now that even though it's not going to make a massive difference because they weren't that far out, they're now actually spot on in line, or they should be. So let's take a listen. that one. So a little bit of fine tuning is still required, but what you can see is how easy it is to very quickly time align your audio. If you make any mistakes, you can just simply come up, readjust it, you can remove any of these stretch markers very quick and easy. You've got a whole range of options about the snapping and things like that. But hopefully what this has done is given you a brief overview of how easy it is to quickly edit any information, any of your track audio that needs to just be fine-tuned to make sure that it all sits exactly where you want it. It's very, very easy for any guitarist, drummer, etc. to sort of not get the beat every single time, but you can quickly and easily edit it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, hit the subscribe button below. If you've got any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments section below. If you've got anything you'd like to see in future videos on Peacemaker TV for Reaper, please let me know and we're happy to take a look at making videos for you. And until next time, take care.